Well, the gunnels are set, or at least set enough for us to continue on here. Uh, so now it's time to put the breast hook on. Uh, really, again, uh, this is a pretty simple operation, but there's a number of little tiny steps you gotta do to get there from here. So I showed you the blank. Now we took that blank, put it on top of the boat. If you do have an accent strip, make sure you take the time to line that strip up so that it goes to the center of the transom to the center of the stem or else that'll drive you nuts for the rest of the time you own the boat. And then just take a pencil, do a rough trace around it, around the blank, and then cut it out with a jigsaw or bandsaw if you got it. So what I do is I cut it proud. Right? I got at least a quarter inch, if not a half inch, all the way around this thing um, because I'm not ready to do the final cut yet. And I won't be until we flatten out the gunnels up here. So the next thing that I need to do is exactly that. I, I had this pretty much in the place that I want it to be, right? So I'm just gonna take a pencil here and make a mark here and here where it lands. Now, whether it lands at an angle going that way, that way, that, it doesn't really matter. You know, the only thing that matters is if you are going to do a gunnel cap, the gunnel cap has to meet it. So whatever that angle is, that's the end angle of your gunnel cap as well. And it's easier just to do it straight across for any number of reasons. So I got a couple of pencil marks there. Now think about this for a second. You know, the gunnels are coming in at a flare and they come up here. So there's gonna be a little down angle on either side. Well, I have to get rid of that so that this will sit flat. Well, now that I got my pencil line there, I can go ahead and put this aside. Now I know that I need to flatten that gunnel out basically down to these two pencil lines here. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, take a yardstick and measure from one end here to one end here to make sure that the breast hook is pretty much right, you know, squared up. Uh, and then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to take my back saw here and I'm going to make a cut, which will pretty much represent the flat mark going across these gunnels from one side to the other, right? Uh, and then I'm just going to take a very sharp chisel and start whittling away. It's not a hard thing to do, it just takes a little bit of time. Alright, so let me get my yardstick and uh, we'll start by taking some measurements here. So I've got a mark here which is the center point of my inner stem. And I'm going to measure from the inside of the mark we made here and the inside of the mark we made here up to here. And in theory, it should be the same thing. So I have... 19 and a 16th there and I've got just at 19 there so 16th of an inch nobody in my world is going to complain about that we'll take this take care of the small stuff as we go here so again um, you know the objective here is to make it so that we have a flat surface all the way down so you're going to need yourself something like this something nice and and flat that you can go ahead and measure it as you go all right so I'm going to take my saw now, and this is just kind of an eyeball thing, and I am going to make my mark going across. Okay. So that pretty much tells you where you need to stop. Do that to both sides here. Right. So I am down, oh, I'm gonna say about an eighth of an inch. So that gives me a good stopping point and it'll keep my wood chi from chipping on me. And now it's just a matter of taking your chisel and starting to work it down. It's not going to be a short process, it's going to take a while. And you got to take your time or else you're going to end up with a big chip out. Alright, so at some point in this process, I'm going to grab my belt sander. After I get it roughed out, I'm going to grab my belt sander and finish it off, get a nice smooth edge there.
Well, we are pretty much there. There is a little bit of flare going up this way in the boat. I don't really want to take all that out. I don't want to flatten out the stem. And it's only about a sixteenth of an inch or so, and I will easily be able to clamp that down because the plan here now is we're going to attach this pretty much like we attach everything else. We're going to put uh, epoxy here, clear epoxy, clear epoxy, and then thickened epoxy. We're going to apply this down here, and then uh, and we're going to clamp it. And uh, oh probably three places on each side and that should be plenty I mean a sixteenth of an inch is going to pull down easily if I can pull it down with my fingers I sure as heck can pull down with clamps so if you take a close look at what we've done here now uh, we are uh, oh this, geez, this is probably th three eighths of an inch difference from one side of the gunnel to the other and that's fine it is what it is and thankfully it pretty much matches up on both sides here i still got a little bit of cleaning up to do so you can see the process um you know you use the tools that you got and that you can make work and uh, my favorite tool for doing this stuff is uh, my favorite series of tools is i always start with the chisel because you can take off a lot of wood really quick with that but you got to be careful make sure that you know you got your stop lines there and that uh, you're not chipping things out and then I go to a rasp and because you can control a rasp really well you can take off a lot of wood but you can take it off off of a wide area uh, and then I come back and I finish it up with the belt sander to kind of smooth everything down and it's always worked really well for me it's not elegant I don't have you know old block planes that I'm pulling out or spoke shaves but uh, it does the trick it does it really well um, and it's worked for not only me but thousands of our customers so um, use the tools that you got and the tools that you're comfortable with. That's what I use. And I think if you, if you don't have something else you prefer, you might want to try that. All right, so the only thing I really have left to do now is I need to clean up these edges a little bit down here where it meets because it drops in there pretty much just perfect. And as long as we still line up from one end of the boat to the other, it's a happy place to be. So I am going to... Um, come back now and draw another line all the way around this thing and I'm going to go back to the bandsaw and I'm going to get a little bit closer now um, if you're using a jigsaw or a bandsaw or a scroll saw it doesn't really matter stay proud of the line proud of the line means when you're done cutting you should still be able to see that line because when it's down here and we epoxy it and we clamp it and it's all dried up then we're going to come back with our belt sander and we're going to go all on the edges and it's going to make it look like it's just one beautiful piece of wood all right so stay proud of that one okay the only thing you may want to consider at this point uh, if you are going to do gunnel caps uh, before you do your uh, final glue down here you may want to bevel this down to come down and, and meet whatever the thickness of the gunnel caps so are if i'm going to do it on this it's going to be a quarter inch so I would bevel this down, but I'll, I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, and then after I get all that rough cutting done, I have to scowl up my middle. And uh, what I usually do is I will, you know, I don't like it when a curve just goes one way and stops at a, at a hard corner. And it's a boat, and there shouldn't be any hard corners on a boat. So I'm going to come up this way in a curve, over, and then down this way, kind of like a bell. And again, I'm going to grab, you know, a coffee can an old butter jar <laughs> and the lid off of a spray can to make that happen uh, and it will be just beautiful okay so right now I am going to line this up again draw my lines and uh, see if I can cut it just a little bit closer All right, so we pretty much got this thing form fitted on the outside now. And again, belt sand is a great way to do it. Just be careful. You know, don't you, 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 once you think, once you see that thing hit the actual gunnel, you want to pull back and pull back quick because you're not looking to do your final sanding here. All right, so now we need a couple of registration marks. And again, this is, you know, um, 
kind of off the cuff here. So my middle piece is two inches wide. I'm going to come in and measure the center point of that. And I decided that my coffee can was a little bent and my, my butter tub was a little bit too flexible. So I'm going to use this roll of tape here and see what that's going to look like. And that might actually work. All right, so I got a center point here and I want to drag that down to another couple of reference points. And again, doesn't really matter which ones. So I'll make a light pencil mark going that way. And a light pencil mark going this way. And now you just kind of play around with it until you find something that you like. Because <laughs> now I've got two lines that come down, so if my roll of tape is hitting on both angles here, I know that my arc is going to be dead circle, dead center, excuse me. So I'm just going to draw my arc right around there. And now I have to get back to this point over here. So I have to find something that's going to give me an arc this way. And I think I have just the thing. So now I'm finding my return point, which is the inside of the gunnel here. In here. And I'll find that on both sides. I'm going to use a French curve. If you don't have one of these, you can find them at pretty much any arts and crafts store. And I am going to return my curve. Whoops. So now if you want to, you can find this point simply by measuring from the center point that we made there down to it on the curve. So I got three and three quarter inches. So if I come here and I just pivot my ruler till I get three and three quarter inches, it's right here. I'm betting you wish you paid attention in geometry class now, huh? Okay, so, so now in theory, when I make this French curve meet, I'm going to make a mark on the French curve where I used it so that I make sure I'm using it in the same place on the other side. So I just line up that point and I line up that point and I draw my curve. And there you go. So we are going to have something that sweeps up, around, and back down again. So I will go cut that out and sand it and then we're going to be ready to glue this thing down. We're almost ready to glue this thing down. Um, cut out looks good, looks scented. I'm happy. Um, but I don't like the thickness here. So I'm going to take this quarter inch block here and I'm going to make a line. Go from there to there. And then I'm going to do the same thing up here. And I'm going to go from there to there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, clamp this down to the bench and I'm going to take my belt sander and I'm going to bevel that away down to that line so the only thing I have is that quarter inch reveal here on both sides. Um, it's hand sanding, uh, you got to kind of eyeball it, um, so I will probably uh, take it out from about here down. And do a nice soft bevel there.
Okay, well, the uh, trick here is, nope, don't be too greedy. Um, I left it about, oh, 16th or 32nd of an inch above that line. I came back about the same amount on both sides, and now I'm gonna grab my random orbital sander, and I'm gonna finish this off by smoothing this curve out a little bit. And then we'll try it back on the boat again. We're definitely close there. We're within 32nd of an inch on both sides, and that is close enough. The rest of it we can do right here on the boat. Well, there it is, um, and that's all there is to it. I am going to uh, glue this down. I'm going to put one, two, three clamps, clamp it, let it dry, and then uh, we'll come back and do our final sanding on this in a bit. That's all there is to making a breast up for these boats. Mm -hmm.